IRL streamers are running rampant in Miami like a white woman through a D1 sports team. I mean, you got Fousey, Neon, Cranky Connor, that guy, this dude, him, her. At this point, you can't step out the crib down there without someone shoving their camera in your face for some obnoxious content. <laughs> Whoa, 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 slow down there, Jack. Let me let me finish my intro real quick. Now, I've talked about Fousey, Neon, and the greater kick IRL scene in the past, but there is one little guy who is somehow pulling all the strings in the background, and it genuinely amazes me how he's doing all this. That's right, folks. It is finally time to talk about the clout booger behind it all, Jack D. I'm be honest, chat. No clue how to pronounce this last name. My eye sees doe hurt E, but my mouth spits out Dorothy. Am I dyslexic? Anywho, this Jack dude is 100% the worst out of all these IRL streamers because not only is he organizing a decent chunk of these scripted streaming events, but the dude is literally just housing a bunch of OF women and pimping them out. Oh wait, sorry, I meant managing their only friends, taking almost all of their earnings. And pause time out, I'm sorry, I gotta ask. Ladies, how are you allowing this twerp that looks like the thumb people from Spy Kids take this much bread out of you for popping pussy on the TL? It amazes me. I pray y'all do better, dog. City girls down by a hundred. Anyways, clearly, I don't like this little jack twerp. And I'm willing to bet money that his 12-year-old audience will find this video and say that I'm jealous of what, like a 19-year-old for making more money than me? And while half of that may be true, I cannot see myself going bad for bad with little bro. I'm just not even gonna put myself on the spot like that is not gonna happen but there is no shot that i would ever be jealous of having to fake literally every piece of content or stay in constant drama just to get some clout like if i if things ever come to that please just cancel me just just boot me up out of here like clearly i'm washed clearly i have run out of options just take me out i instead much rather sit here and talk shit about all these creatures while sitting in my cozy little chair and begging for likes and subs like a peddler time to stop joking around here because that's some clout lore that needs to be explained now this little squirt jack here has been around for quite a while now dating all the way back to 2016 with some of his earliest videos quite literally just being him flipping bottles and emoting like a Fortnite character. From there, he evolved into fidget spinner content to floors lava to 3 a.m. challenges. You get the gist, you know, just hopping trend to trend to trend. That stuff, harmless. But his next run of content is where things get a little bit dicey. Dorothy saw that people like the Paul brothers were getting motion off being kids in public and decided, hey, you know what? I think I can do that too. What if, what if I do that? Leading him to start to transition his content into a much more controversial tone. In comes the ongoing prank era, where his content consists of him running around stores such as Target and Walmart, going pranky pranks, and then getting kicked out. Oh. But I think the guys that aren't allowed to do it on my property over there. No, no, no. I'm talking to you. Look, sir, the kids love me. Let me be, please. Listen to me, man. Listen to me. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna ask you one more time. I'm gonna ask you one more time. I said we were leaving. Okay, I'm gonna follow you out. We're leaving. <laughs> Hear me and hear me good, nigga. I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two pack of ass. And on joke for a second here, I think stuff like this is really deplorable. Going around making retail workers' lives more miserable is literally like top 10 most evil things you can do. Like you are literally up there with the Karen rankings at this point. Like you're, you're, you're nasty, sick work. Some may say you need to be publicly stoned if you do shit like this. I do not condone violence though, that is a joke. And if you couldn't tell already, the Walking Thumbs IRL content is pretty much identical to Neon's. I personally think Jack is either managing or helping to manage Neon, but you hear that from me. Both of them will literally just do a bunch of outrageous stuff to farm impressions leading people like me to talk about them. And it's really some nasty wicked stuff. Like I think Jack was driving around and he flipped a golf cart on his supposed girlfriend. Just one to try for some crap. Ah! Oh! oh. oh f and you best believe that stream highlight was up on his YouTube by sunrise. <laughs> Goodness, that that boy can work. That's one thing, that boy can work. His team rather, he doesn't do shit, let's be honest. And while he's in public messing with people just trying to, you know, live their lives, he insists on doing shit that would obviously get him pressed. And then he scuttles on behind his security like the little punk that he is. What? Little prop, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Little prop, little prop. Hey, hey. I'm no advocate for violence, but if you're going to be a public kid, at least walk the talk and accept the consequences of getting your ass beat if you cannot fight. Play stupid games, 
get stupid prizes. It is that simple. But no, why accept accountability when we have a six four nigga shaped like Broly to hide behind when someone calls you out? Now, when he's not in public making everyone else's lives a living hell, he is orchestrating some of the most sinister acts on kick and only friends that I have ever seen. Now, we know Dude Got Bread like that's been established, but he is cycling said money in and out of his content only friends wobble combo house. Mouthful, I know, but let me break this down real quick. Kick streamers go in and out of that house to shoot some juicy drama filled content like it's some kind of stream checkpoint. I mean, Zerka, Neon, Island Boys, Foozy, Blueface, Action Man, Hill Mike, the list keeps going, all circling in and out of that dude's house for some content. He then swipes and throws all that stream highlights up on his channel. And not only that, he is literally just housing a bunch of only friends women that he manages and uses for content. Like, you can literally see them walking around in the background of these streams. Now, we're going to get to that management thing in a second here, but just look at this dude's YouTube real quick. My ex-girlfriend fought my new girlfriend. I flipped a golf cart on my girlfriend. I put my girlfriend in the hospital. Midget boxing on Thanksgiving. <laughs> That last one is insane because what the hell does Booba Woman have anything to do with midgets? Like, I don't know. That one kind of got me. I might watch that vid. And if you just go to this dude's shorts and TikTok, it is even more egregious. All right, if I make this shot, you guys both got to give me a kiss. Okay. okay. Bro, no, why do you always do this? I probably won't even make it. Ready? Let's go! Come here, ladies. Whoa! Did they just kiss? Did you guys just kiss? Oh, oh accident. Oh. It worked out for me. Bruh. You so freaky ass nigga! Looking at the description, he tags the woman. And if you go to their pages, it is quite literally just them shaking ass and promoting their only friends. And would you look at that? Specifying their ages in the bio. <laughs> Whew, sorry, my apologies. I think I'm really getting sick of these bitches. Not to mention, if you go to their TikToks, it is quite literally edited the same way and they're doing the same exact thing as Jack. <sighs> Something smells fishy here, and I'm not talking about the OF cooter. Remember how I mentioned that the little dork houses and manages a bunch of OF women? Yeah, one of his ex shorties actually came out and is exposing Jack for all the nasty stuff that he's doing. Natalie Reynolds is currently on Twitter dropping tweet after tweet just ripping this guy apart, and the rabbit hole goes so disgustingly deep. Like, this is, this is nasty, sick, demonic work that we're talking about here. First off, she confirms that Sam Frank, Neon's girlfriend, is just clout hopping from man to man. Apparently she was dating the little dork a few years ago and Neon and Jack do a bunch of collabs like all the time as well. And truth be told, Sam is just being passed around the two for content. Not only that, but the little clout booger uploaded this video of Neon giving Sam a Rolex. Now, why would a money and clout hungry selfish YouTuber upload a video of another Ick giving his ex a $10,000 Rolex? Well, the answer's simple. He clearly paid for it and is using this stream highlight to make ad revenue off of it. Not to say I told you so, but W script, I've been called this. She further goes on to discuss how Jack will allegedly meet 17 year old women to wait for them to turn 18 and then get them drunk on a yacht to sign only friends contracts. Again, have to say allegedly here because there isn't any clear concrete proof, just claims from the past victim. She also points out that all the OF models that he has under his wing have the same kind of necklace gifted to them, which to me looks like some kind of subtle pimp branding if I ever seen it. And to top it all off, she details how the gremlin allegedly takes gigantic cuts out of all these women's only friends earnings and leaves them with scraps, which is sick, sick, sick deplorable work oh my like that is that is nasty holy you are going to hell if this is you're going to hell and i'll be honest i believe her 100 off this clip of the legend fuzi himself there are two types of men on this earth a man who will hear everything that i just said to you and wake up tomorrow and do the exact same thing or a man who wakes up tomorrow and changes his ways start by kicking off the, these girls out of their house mm -hmm. give them back their percentages you don't need that you can make your own money look at your wrist dog you don't need a money from a girl whore yourself I, out you're I, I'm good. Hey, you don't think you said, hey, before you live here, you have to f me? No, I don't. That's not how it is. Every guy is just really is a horny. No. Everything you said today is a lie. It's not a lie. You know you got exposed. <laughs> no, lie, right? I did it. Let's do a lie today. Yeah. No, okay. <laughs> One thing about Fousey, he may be a crazy schizo off his meds, but I think I can suss out when he has actual good intentions behind his actions, and this this feels genuine. Like, I, I feel genuinity behind his words right here. And the fact that there's two people who have had seemingly no interaction saying the same thing about the dude, I have no choice but to believe it. Also, Natalie, if you somehow see this, I tried to contact you like twice for this vid, and you ego the hell out of me, which is fine, it's expected, I'm, I'm a low nigga. But if you want to hit me back and we do like a follow-up vid, my DMs are still open. And that all aside, right, I didn't even get to like the 
worst part of all this. It's the fact that this kid has a primarily child fan base and is peddling literal children to OF pages with these pinned comments. Check out her spicy content in her IG bio, bro. You know what you are. <laughs> how is he getting away with this? YouTube and TikTok, y'all need to seriously look into this guy and how he's ushering actual minors into graphic content. Actually, f that the law needs to step in for a potential sex trafficking ring charge because this only friend shit is genuinely sickening. Because if these claims are correct, this is bad. Like this is really, really bad. This is not okay. Matter of fact, send that over there with Tate so we can get locked up in Romania. Jack Doherty is one of the most corrupt creators on the internet right now and he genuinely needs to be knocked down. From causing public disturbances to the point that he is banned from all malls within a 50 mile radius of himself to pimping out only friends woman, this guy is just bad news entirely. And dude, there is so much other stuff that he's done in between the bottle flip art and now i literally can't even cover it because we would be here for hours but if you're hip comment down below your favorite jack lore let's enlighten the masses with all these antics going around i genuinely wonder what the hell this little squirt is going to do when he's like 30 like is he just going to float into the background and create even bigger only friends rings how does he actually evolve from being this much of a dickhead like i need answers now i'm not going to wait 30 more years i'm not it's, it's not going to happen but with that being said man make sure you guys like the video if you liked it subscribe because you made this far into the video and you clearly like me check out all my socials linked below Please follow me on Twitter. I need motion. And I'm out of here, man. Love y'all. Be safe. Peace, peace.